Hello and welcome to Credit Matters TV. I'm Andy South and today I'm speaking to Mark Boyce from our European Structured Finance Research Team about two outlook pieces he's just published on European RMBS and ABS. So Mark, issuance in both ABS and RMBS actually declined in 2013. If we start with RMBS, what were the main drivers behind that and what's the outlook for 2014? Uh, okay, well, European RMBS issuance fell quite a lot in 2013 by about 40% year on year. A large part of that um, of that decline has to do with falling UK RMBS issuance. Um, next year, there's reason to believe that UK RMBS issuance could pick up again um, for a few reasons. One is the refocusing of the funding for lending scheme on businesses rather than consumers. Um, we think that this could lead um, some originators to, to come back to securitization sooner than they otherwise would have. Um, as you know, the funding for lending scheme provided um, kind of alternative funding for cheaper alternative funding for some um, UK RMBS originators. Um, the second thing is that the the mortgage market itself is looking up. Um, gross lending volumes are up, and we think that lenders could fund some of this increase with um, securitization. And finally, um, some UK lenders have recently announced that they plan to return more substantially to, to mortgage lending in 2014. So, you know, all of these suggest that the UK, the UK issuance could start looking up next year. Dutch issuance, we think, we think could begin to, could fall, or at least there could be pressure on it next year. Um, the reason for that is the introduction, the potential introduction, I should say, of um, a new scheme that would allow originators um, to wrap um, RMBS issuance with a government guarantee and, put, and thereby potentially achieve um, lower funding costs. We think this could lead some Dutch lenders to um, forego investor place issuance in, in favor of state guaranteed um, mortgage backed issuance. Um, we don't expect to see a whole lot of issuance outside of the UK and Netherlands, so that suggests that overall European issuance could be broadly flat in 2014. Right then, um, same question really for ABS. What are the prospects for issuance there? Um, so as was the case with RMBS, um, the funding for lending scheme we think may have depressed, um, helped to depress ABS issuance. ABS issuance fell about 25% year on year to 18 billion in 2013. A large part of that is the absence of UK credit card ABS and auto ABS. And again, for similar reasons, we think that those, those sectors could come back next year, which would be positive for overall ABS issuance. Um, leading the pack, though, is German auto ABS, which has been um, particularly strong in 2013. We don't see any dark clouds on the horizon for German auto ABS. Um, it, investor place issuance doubled in 2013, and we think it's going to continue to be strong next year. So overall, we see um, Auto, uh, we see ABS issuance in Europe picking up in 2014. So that's new issuance. What about the credit performance of ABS and RMBS in 2014? What's the outlook for that? Well, broadly speaking, credit performance in both RMBS and ABS has been stable for the past several years now. Um, we expect, you know, slow but positive economic growth in Europe ne beginning next year. Um, so that's that should underpin credit performance uh, for both consumers and, and corporations in 2014. Um, having said that though, about 60% of Western European banks that we rate currently carry a negative outlook. Um, downgrades to these banks could have knock-on effects for structured finance transactions for which they act as counterparties. The other big factor is that we are currently um, requesting comments on potential changes to our criteria for rating um, Italian and Spanish RMBS and also on potential changes to our criteria for rating structured finance um, securities above the sovereign. Um, in their current form, these um, potential criteria changes could lead to several downgrades on um, Southern European securitizations. So this suggests that these non-collateral factors could drive um, most downgrades in 2014. All right, Mark, thank you very much.